Welcome everyone to the John Bull Center. My name is Mary, and I'm going to be treating our lovely patient, Lee, here today. And Lee comes to us with a primary concern of sun damage or pigmentation, the brown spots on her face. Um, the photofacial is also called an IPL treatment, which stands for intense pulse light. And again, it's treating both sun damage, brown spots, as well as redness, facial vessels, rosacea, those sorts of things that aggravate people on a daily basis on their face. What Lee is going to experience today is um, a little bit of discomfort, nothing horrible, but we're going to pulse over her face with a wavelength of light. And what that light is doing is pulling her pigment to the surface. It's gonna darken it about one to two shades by the end of the treatment. And then it's gonna get even darker over the next 48 to 72 hours. Almost look like a little peppery spot, a little dark flake, so that her freckles or sun damaged spots are going to be a little bit more enhanced for about five to seven days. After that five to seven days, she's probably gonna notice them to start to slough off. They don't peel off, it's not obvious, but they're gonna be lightened within a period of seven to 10 days. At two weeks to two and a half weeks, she's going to notice significant improvement and she may wanna retreat again. Um, most patients see huge improvement after one treatment. However, sometimes depending on the severity of the brown spots or the redness, especially if you're treating both, um, they may need anywhere between three and four treatments for optimal results. We're going to get started with Lee, and um, you'll be able to see the process as we go along. All right, so our patient Lee here is prepped and ready for her first photofacial treatment. And what you can see here is we have a little bit of ultrasound gel on her skin. I like to break the face up kind of into sections and just put the ultrasound gel on as I go. What the ultrasound gel is doing for her skin is providing a little bit of cooling and also a slip so that the handpiece can help glide, glide across her skin a little bit easier. We'll remove all that when we're done, put some calming cream on, some sunscreen, and, and, and kind of talk a little bit about some post-care instructions with her. But I'm gonna start in kind of a um, vertical pattern by her ear, work our way all the way across her cheek area, and then I move along to another area. All right, so Lee is going to notice a bright flash of light as well as feel kind of a rubber band snapping with some intense heat. Obviously, some areas of the face are gonna be a little bit more sensitive than the, than the others, but for the most part, very tolerable. And I'm overlapping about 10% with my, the head of my handpiece just to make sure that I have excellent coverage and moving very slowly just for her level of comfort. As you can see, her eyes are covered with goggles, so Sometimes people can get a little bit of claustrophobia with that. And you just wanna make sure you move slowly and steadily so they're not startled. All right, so we've just completed Lee's first photo facial. And as you can see here, she's a little pink, you know, and some of her spots are, appear to be a little bit darker, almost kind of grayish in hue. Totally normal after a photo facial. Your body's natural response is to stimulate blood flow to promote healing. What she's going to feel is um, it's a sunburn sensation, probably a little bit more intense than that. Her skin's gonna be really warm, red, and blotchy for a few hours. On average, most patients experience that. And then by this evening or tomorrow, she, most of the redness is gonna be completely gone. She may have a little bit of a rosy glow kind of in those areas where she's feeling it most intense. And then that's gonna go away 24 hours. And then the next couple of days, she's gonna be noticing those brown spots getting darker. Um, over a period of seven to 10 days on the long end, all those spots are gonna slough off. It's not gonna be super obvious or peeling or to anybody else other than to Lee and maybe the people who know her really well. And then in about two to two and a half weeks, she's gonna be loving her skin because all those brown spots are gonna slough off. And at that point, she's gonna decide whether or not she wants to do a little bit more lightening of those spots and repeat treatment. Um, as far as post-care goes with the photo facial, you're going to treat your skin like you do have a bad sunburn. So she's going to go home tonight. She's going to gently cleanse um, with a gentle cleanser, little circles on her face, lukewarm water, and kind of rinse and pat dry, just as if she were to have a sunburn. After that, she's going to avoid using any of her anti-aging products um, that could cause any irritation or just be a little too stimulating right after a treatment like this. 
and then her sunscreen. The biggest thing with a photofacial is it does make you very sun sensitive for a number of weeks afterwards. So to maintain and protect your investment, sunscreen is super important. Um, after all the spots have come off or anywhere between four and five days after when she's not sensitive anymore, she can start incorporating those anti-aging products again just to kind of help maintain the lightness of the spots, um, soften the skin, smooth it even out the texture and just really um, add to the benefits of the photofacial. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for her before and after pictures on our website and social media.